Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Garcon's Redskins going up against Jackson's Buccaneers. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 11 matchup. Buccaneers, Redskins coming up on EA Sports, getting set now for a Week 11 matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for the call. The playoff chase is on. It's late in the year, and every single game is crucial. How about the scene we have before us, Phil? I just wipe the slate clean, Jim. That's what you got to think of as players and coaches. Don't worry about mistakes that you've made in the past or some of the good things. This is it. One game, it means everything. And if you have that kind of attitude, I think it really helps you play better physically and mentally. And of course, if you do that, it gives you a better chance to win. Herons is back, ready to field the opening kick. The leaders of the NFC East are now set to kick it away and get this much in. So guys, um, I, uh, I'm here. I thought uh, you saw me on Twitter last week that I was done and uh, that I was probably going to stop. But after after really getting a hard look in the mirror, that's that's the best way I can put it. Put, getting a hard look in the mirror and realizing, you know, what I'm leaving behind is not just it's not just you know. Uh, you know, videos and shit like that. It's about friends, you know. You know, the friends I've made on YouTube through the years that I've done this hobby. I wouldn't call it a profession. Uh, some people do it as a profession. I just call it a hobby. Um, but the few years that I've done this, this is the third year going into YouTube now. So I've been doing this for a long time. Since 2012. And, uh... I, I gotta say, you know, the people I've made on YouTube, or the friends I've made on YouTube, you know, they are a reflection of who I am and a commentator that I want to be. Not just me, you know, just out here blindly doing shit. You know, I kind of, I kind of, you know, it's not really copying that I would say, uh, or, you know, inspiration. Well, it can be inspiration, I guess. But. You know, you kind of are a reflection of who you hang around with. And, um, you know, I really I really wanted to bring in a new kind of aspect, like all the friends that I've made on YouTube and, you know, what they do and what I do, whether it's Madden or baseball or <laughs> college football, which I'll, I'll get into that in a minute, what I'm, I plan on doing with this channel from now on. Uh, but... I don't I they they just they're 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 influencing me and you know I can't thank them more enough to where I am today. You know, like people like Jersey Born and Arios and Two B G Swami <laughs> Cooper, Cody, all those great guys, they're all in my you know, they're all in my um you go into my channel and you see uh the people I hang out with on that sidebar and you see those people and they're all they're all my friends and <laughs> They had my back the whole step of the way, even if I was just leaving the channel for good, which, you know, I thought about it. Like I said, I thought about it for a while after I said I was done and I like, I came back and realizing after sleeping on it for a few nights that I can't, I can't just leave, you know, all my friends I'm leaving behind are just, you know there for me they didn't want me to leave even though they understood it but seeing all those those people you know saying i i'm just i'm baffled a little bit and I, i'm kind of sad and seeing how much of an impact that i've made in their lives too it made me realize you know maybe it's <laughs> you know maybe it's not just you know it, it's something it's something for sure you know i've not that not only have they made an impact on me I've made an impact on them as well in, in more ways than one. And I don't know how I would be here today without them and vice versa. It's 
how YouTube kind of works, you know? So, I, I really, I do apologize, kind of, in a sense, that, um, that I said I was kind of leaving, but I never really did. And, uh, you know, I have to, I have my friends to thank for that, you know? God bless them with, you know, <laughs> to the, from the bottom of my heart, God bless. Seriously, like, they made me, I, I guess, soul search, if you will. Uh... <laughs> So, thank you guys. But uh, another thing is, I'm going to really just downsize the channel, really. I feel like the work was just getting a little too overwhelming at, at this moment in time that I just... NCAA has to go. I'm sorry for all those people who still watch it because I know it's still kind of a popular thing on my channel, kind of. But in all honesty, I mean, if I'm not posting content as much, I mean, what's the point of having it around? So, right? <laughs> um, so, downsizing it, this channel is a must. So, I'm sorry for all those NCAA fans. Same with MLB. MLB is going to be gone too. Um, really, like I said, downsizing the channel to just this one series. Um, maybe I get 2K. I don't know. It's really um, all up to my situation financially. Because right now, um, if you saw me on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, you would know that I've been kind of in a kind of a, a slump in it financially like kind of struggling to pay bills I'm still paying them but at the end of the month when I pay all my bills I have like nothing to show for it and you know nothing no spending money you know I don't have that kind of luxury you know so I, I and and this may come you know as kind of like a surprise to you but the only reason I don't have spending money money is for one um, in March I'm gonna be going to Boston so I'm saving up my money for that so I'm gonna be going to PAX East and in Boston, Massachusetts. If you don't know where that's at, and uh, I will be there from March 5th to March 9th, even though the convention's from like the 6th to the 8th. But uh, I'm going with a lot of my friends in the Pokemon community, and maybe I'll run into people from the sports community that I know. And uh, you know, I'm just going there to have some fun, uh, have the, one of the best times of my life there. So uh, that's gonna cost me. I've already bought my plane ticket, so I'm already going. But, uh, and I also have to spend, a, a save up money for when, you know, I want to go out and go to a nice restaurant or go to a Boston Bruins game or whatever, whatever I want to do there besides go to PAX. Um, just stuff that's, you know, I, I, I kind of wish I did have spending money because then I could get like some of the good games. Like I, I look at 2K and I see the greatness that they're about to put out. I've never really been a big fan of 2K basketball games lately because of 2K12 being crap and 2K13 kind of been in May and 2K14 just gets, you know, repetitive and old. I really hope that 2K15 does well. And, uh, you know, I might get it depending on how I want to, you know, if you really want to save money <laughs> and live better. I got to pay bills first, you know. Um, so think about that I mean it's not a big deal I'm still gonna be posting Madden you know I don't know how often but maybe once a week maybe sometimes maybe twice if you're lucky so um, I'm sorry for all those people who want to see it daily it's not gonna happen but I mean it's how it is right now life kind of sucks for me <laughs> I'm just getting it back you know in order so it is what it is but enough of me rambling we're going to get into this gameplay now. Thank you to everybody who supported me throughout all the bullshit and all that other nice stuff. But we're down 21 to 17, but you might as well call it 28-17 because right there, Heron just fumbled the ball, and they're in the red zone automatically. So second and six here for RG3, probably the cheesiest quarterback in the game by far. Probably, yeah, probably the cheesiest QB. RG3 slides three times in this video I, so far. RG3 does not slide, and I know he's fast, but when have you ever seen him go off as often as he does, as you see Washington gets a touchdown to make it 28-17. to We're down by 11 with 336 left in the third. It looks pretty, well, for me, insurmountable and about, you know, a bunch of bullshit's about to happen, but I get it off to Vincent Jackson, and Vincent Jackson takes it to about the 34-yard line. Vincent Jackson's been playing pretty damn good this game, so has Mike Evans, and... 
a lot of the good players like Doug Martin have been doing well. You see he has wide open spaces down the field. He's trying to juke the defender. He does shred the tackle and he gets down to the 10 yard line. And now it's 227 left in the third. First and goal. Here is Doug, or that's Bobby Rainey. He shrugs off the defender and he gets in for the touchdown. It is now 28 to 23. We're gonna go for the two point conversion to try and bring it within a field goal. Glennon dropping back. Finds a receiver underneath. It is Heron, the guy who fumbled the ball. He kind of redeems himself right there. Redeems himself for the team. And it's now a three-point game. 25-28, 222 left here in the third. RG3 in that pistol formation with Alfred Morris in the backfield right behind him. Here's RG3. Look at this cheese. Oh, but he fumbles the ball. And it's recovered by Tampa Bay's Al Teron Burner. And look at Jonathan Casillas force that fumble. Look at the Bucks defense get hyped. They haven't been great this season. But they show up in a big moment right here. Now with Mike Glennon dropping back, looking, and he overthrows Bobby Rainey. And now the Bucks are going to have to settle for a field goal. But, hey, it's better than trailing, right? So Connor Barth splits the uprights, and it's good. Tied at 28. Here we go into the near the fourth quarter now with one minute to go and some change. RG3 with three... Uh, backs, well, two backs and a tight end in the backfield. They're going to hand it off to Alfred Morris, and he gets stuffed by Jonathan Casillas. He's been coming up big time in this game, and we get the ball back with a chance to take the lead. But fourth quarter setting in, and it's third and 19. Glennon looking deep, and it's intercepted. That was kind of a forced pass because we wanted to get past the line, but honestly, we could have probably looked for a better pass on that play as Merriweather picks that off, and the Redskins are already in Plus territory in Tampa Bay territory with 5.19 left in the game. RG3 with a man in motion to the left. It is, I think that is, I don't know who that is exactly. But um, I, they get a dump off to Alfred Morris. And Alfred Morris with a spin move gets down to the, about the 20-yard line. As RG3 has completed over 90% of his passes in this game. RG3 is not, this is my problem with Madden, to be honest. I'll, I'm going to cut off the gameplay commentary for just a minute here. RG3 has got to be the cheesiest quarterback in Madden. He can run. He can throw. It's like he's God out there. And, like, he's not even that good in real life. Honestly, I, I think RG3 is a scrub. Honestly. I think Kirk Cousins is way better than him. Way better than Kirk, RG3. Way better. So, I, they have, they got to level him down a little bit. He is not that good of a quarterback, in my personal opinion. They've got to tone him down just a little bit. EA, you're giving him way too much credit. But... It's now 31-28. We bend but don't break, but we still lose our, you know, our lead a little bit. We still lose a little bit of our edge. Look at Doug Martin getting that first down, getting some extra yards after the screen pass. And now there's less than three minutes to go here, so we really got to, you know, press, speed up the tempo a little bit. We get it off to Shepard, and Shepard gets a first down. The clock is running, but we still have all three of our timeouts. After the two-minute warning here, it is second and five. Here's Glennon looking over the middle. It is caught by Mike Evans, and he gets the first down. We call a timeout. It's now third down and ten. Glennon looking, and it's almost intercepted. And now we're in a situation where we could have kicked the field goal, but it's fourth down, and I really don't trust Connor Barth's leg from this distance. It's 50 yards, and with the wind blowing, it really doesn't help. So Glennon looking over the middle, and it, it is Stalker with the first down. And now it's – that you can you can breathe again, Tampa Bay fans. Third down and one inside the 10-yard line. All we need to do is get a first down. Glennon looking over the middle. Doug Martin, but he gets the first down. Yes, we can breathe again. First and goal, handoff Martin. He goes up the gut, but he fumbles the football. Oh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is where you, you say that's when the fat lady sings. Tampa Bay comes up short. Final score, 31-28. to 28. On the road, we fall to 6-4 and four on the season. That is an unfortunate loss, and that's really going to hurt us in the wildcard standings. Next week, I do believe we take on Chicago. And this one stings, ladies and gentlemen. This one stings. A, just a little bit just a little bit guys so I'm sorry for all the confusion I really do hope that this video kind of clears things up a little bit and uh, you yeah, know I'm I, like I said I'm really sorry so uh, I'm not gonna be posting videos as often but enjoy them all you can <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and until then my name is Sim with Vengeance 
and I am out. Peace.